What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about iOS 11 beta three. So if you guys haven't heard, beta three was released a couple of hours ago to developers. And of course, if you guys wanna download this and you're not a developer, you don't need a computer, it's completely free. You can check the link in the description below and I'll show you guys how to install uh, iOS 11 beta three. It's insanely simple and it works right on your phone. But this video is about the changes and updates that you can expect in beta 3 of course this is still obviously a beta so some things can change as we continue down the road to the final version of ios 11. but i have two iphones right here this one is ios 11 beta 3 and this one is ios 11 beta 2. so this is the 7 plus and this is the 7. i'm just gonna have them side by side so we can take a look at the differences between the two side by side if it's necessary so let's jump into this and start checking out what type of changes we have in beta 3. So in the control center, if you 3D press on the screen recorder, you can see that we actually get a little bit different UI. So first of all, the button right here is actually a little bit different, so it's darker, so it's not gonna blend into the background like it does right here. You also notice that the button is closer uh, to the screen recording element, and you'll also notice that the text has changed from start recording to start broadcast. Now it's a little weird because the text uh, size is actually a little bit different on beta three, so you'll notice that it's actually smaller up here and then bigger down here. So hopefully they kind of balance that out, just looks a little strange. Of course, I'm going to assume that they're going to center that down as well, just like right here. But there's actually quite a few different UI elements that you're gonna get in the control center. So just like on Display Recorder, you can see that you're not gonna have that blending in of the background and the button right here, so it's not as transparent, and it has a lot more contrast. So it's easier to see, it's easier to press, it just basically sticks out more. For beta three in the TV provider section, you're actually gonna get uh, a few more options for your cable. So depending on what cable provider you actually have, uh, they've added several like Comcast, Uverse, Time Warner, and more. Um, but if you didn't have the option to actually log in using your TV provider in beta two, you should definitely check to see if your provider is there now. Now see here in the weather app, you actually get bigger icons uh, for the sunny, the raining, the thunderstorms, the moon, the sun, all that stuff. Everything is just a little bit bigger and it actually looks a little bit nicer with those bigger elements. Now there was a bug in beta two where you basically had this issue in the app switcher which it would hang, it would freeze, but you really don't have that issue anymore uh, with beta three. So you can see it's not hanging, it's not freezing, anything like that we will hop back out and it's back to normal. So that's a nice bug fix because that was driving me crazy. Also in the control center, when you 3D press on the text size, if you wanna change that dynamically, you'll notice when it pops up on the default option, which is the middle, the third rung uh, from the bottom, you'll see that the text is actually much larger on beta three versus beta two. So right here in iMessage, if you swipe all the way to the left, uh, where all your stickers are, you'll see this ellipsis. So if you tap on this, then you'll see we actually have some more options here uh, than on beta two in the edit menu. Now, uh, all these applications right down here are all based on what applications you have installed on your device. So that's not what I'm talking about here. I just have a whole lot more apps installed on this phone than I do on this one. So what I'm talking about is the edit function. So if we tap on the edit, you'll notice that we have our favorites up at the top. This is not something that you get in beta two. So you can add your stickers right here to your favorites, and then you can drag these right here to rearrange them. Now, unfortunately, anytime you make any changes in this actual pane, it actually crashes the application. So you'll see right here, if I just add one, it just crashes. So it doesn't work right now, but it is something that's coming. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to actually, you know, tinker with it in beta four. Now with Smart Invert, you can see that everything is inverted right here. So if I open up my uh, settings app, you can see everything's black. Same thing over here. I think just by tinkering with this and looking at them side by side that it looks a little bit better in beta three. So it's not 100% there just yet, but it looks like a lot of these applications are using their stock colors. So like Tweetbot right here didn't change whatsoever. Safari looks completely normal. Um, if we look over here, we're gonna still have that really, really dark uh, notification badge, which you can see right there. And the oranges, like Reddit right there, is still a little bit different, but I think there may be some improvements there uh, for Smart Invert. Back here in the control center, you can see if we tap on our flashlight that it turns blue. If we tap on this one, it just had that black icon right there. So the blue icon, it's always nice to add a little color to the control center. And there's also another one that we were kind of upset about, or I was anyways, uh, on beta two that we had in beta one, they took away in beta two, and now it's back again in beta three, which is the low power mode 
which apparently just shut down my phone somehow. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> you can see that this is the uh, black icon. If we tap it on here, then it's gonna give us the orange one that we had in beta one. So that's a nice feature change, whatever you wanna call it, that they brought back in beta three. Now here in the settings, if we scroll down to our control center, which I think I missed, there it is, and we're going to customize these options. So this is where you basically add in uh, all the toggles that you want in your control center. You'll notice that we've actually had some changes uh, to the icons right here based on what they're going to look like when you turn them on. So like I showed you before, the flashlight has changed to blue because it turns to blue when it's turned on. Same thing for low power mode, we have a green icon over here and right here we have an orange one. So the icons in the customized screen basically just correlate back to what those toggles look like once they're turned on. Now another change you're gonna see in the control center that you'll probably see on all your 3D presses uh, for these toggles are little icons, or in the wallet's case, bullet points next to the option that you have right here. So for the add card, if you, I actually didn't have a card added right here, there would be a little plus sign. So basically in beta three, they've added these icons right here to all the listed options for the 3D press menus. Here on the Apple TV remote, the menu is actually smaller than it was in the previous beta two. So beta three, the entire controller is smaller than it is on beta two. Now I know it's really hard to tell on this one just because I have the seven plus right here and then the seven, but you can see how much real estate you have down here versus down here. And I have seen side by side the same device on different versions and it, the uh, controller is in fact actually a little bit smaller. So you'll just have to take my word for it if you don't believe me <laughs> right here just because the comparison is not that great since we're on different devices. Also in our settings, if we go into Safari and then we scroll all the way down here to an advanced, we'll do that here on the uh, 7 Plus as well, you'll notice that we actually have a few more experimental features. So not only have some of the options changed, but there's also additional or more uh, experimental WebKit features on beta three that you can toggle on. So the next change we have is to the notification center. So you'll notice if I swipe down on beta two, you have to swipe up for earlier notifications from today. But if you do it over here in beta three, you actually get a different look, which you can see is changed to earlier today right here in your notification center without having to swipe up. So it's just one less thing to do in order to get to your earlier notifications. The next thing you'll notice in the notification center is that it changed from recent to earlier today. Also here in the settings for Siri and search, you can see that the options have basically been condensed or compacted into a much cleaner look. So you'll notice that there are a lot of options here that basically explain those options. Over here in beta three, you can see they're more streamlined. There's not descriptions under all of the options, especially when they're pretty self-explanatory, like listen, hey Siri. Now also here in the files app, you have the option to tap on edit and then you can add OSX server. So you can toggle that on and then it's going to be available to you right here. If you do it over in beta two, you're not gonna have that option. So this is something that is new that's been added. If you tap on it, it actually crashes. So there's not really anything you can do with it right now, but it is gonna be an option that's gonna be available in the near future. AirPlay is also going to work with third party applications. There was an issue in beta two where basically it just wouldn't work and wouldn't connect but now in beta three, it is working. Also here in your Apple ID, if you tap on iCloud, uh, you'll tap on manage storage, and you'll notice that this is actually gonna give you your total storage, your available storage, and then you're gonna have to tap on manage storage in order to get this option right here. So basically what this does in beta three is skip this entire panel and it gives you directly everything that you'll need available to you right there in the first window. So just to show you a better example of what I was talking about earlier, here is the 3D press menu inside the control center for the notes app. So you'll notice that all the icons are over here to the left, everything is left aligned, and it just looks a whole lot better uh, in my opinion right here than just having it all center aligned with no icons. So definitely a welcome change. They also thankfully fix the apps which are in the iPad. So you can see you can just swipe up on these apps and they're all closing out now. So uh, before you actually had to hold down and then press the X on each application in order to close it. So you can just swipe up now and it closes right out. So iPad users are definitely gonna like that change. One thing I forgot to mention in the Messages app is when you actually go into uh, that Ellipses panel that I was talking about earlier, you can actually search for iMessage apps 
right up here, which is obviously something you didn't have in beta 2. Something else that's fixed is content blockers for Safari. So in beta 2, they weren't working, but now in beta 3, they are. Now, of course, along with all those features and changes, there's definitely been a ton of bug fixing and that's something that's very welcome to me because I still am having a really hard time uh, using my daily driver on a beta iOS. I knew what I was getting into when I downloaded it, but I'm always happy when there's less bugs that I have to deal with on a daily basis. So if there's any features that I did miss in this video, definitely let me know which ones I've missed in the comments below. Of course, if you still wanna see these beta updates every time a new beta comes out, make sure you hit that like button and then I'll continue to do them. All right, guys, more videos coming very soon. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything iOS 11, Apple, jailbreak, and just awesome tech that I want to cover, make sure you subscribe, turn on those bell notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.